four and half squares in vertical axis will determine the voltage level from here to here how many squares it will cover it will determine the time just today it is introduction and in our next video we will cover every step in detail. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to Hasim Electronics friends. In this video we will discuss what is oscilloscope. In electronics we know what is multimeter. I uploaded a detailed video about how to use multimeter that is available in my channel. I will give link if you want to understand how we can use multimeter. Multimeter is a real-time device if I want to some measure some voltage, suppose I have this transformer, if I want to check voltage, 4.1 volts, and between this line and this line, it's giving me 6.3 volts. It measures RMS voltage. We don't know what is the wave shape because in modern electronics, the time, the shape of signal is very much important. Here we can use the DC voltage but we cannot check the level of voltage because it makes sampling and it gives a reading so it is not too much uh, fast so today we, are, we will discuss what is oscilloscope oscilloscope basically is a test and measurement device which is used to display a signal like a multimeter it have its test lead, test probes. It is a BNC connector connected to channel. Oscilloscopes are uh, different types analog, digital. And in digital, we have many types. The most common one is simple digital, and the other is digital storage oscilloscope. I have DSO, Hentec. It have two channel, 100 megahertz, and it have two channels. How it works? It takes input signal from this line and makes sampling. Then it have a graph two types display. You can see the signal in the screen. It have are divided scares which are called x-axis and y-axis it displays the signal let me display and then we will discuss more so here it displays the signal it is square wave it have two type of scales x-axis y-axis this axis is used to amplitude to measure the amplitude the level of the voltage in this way the level of the vo voltage and in this side it measures the time time lapse between the signal this signal is starting from here and every portion is divided into squares and every square is measured from these knobs it have two channels that means it can display two type of signals one and two then it have a time display this side vertical side vertical axis are controlled from here like a knob in the multimeter the range knob we can say this is range knob to display the signal and here is vertical position just today it is introduction and in our next video we will cover every step in detail what is the benefit of this uh, oscilloscope we know the capacitor used to hold the signal capacitor function is to smooth the level of DC if it is not stabilized if it is not regulated the next circuit will not behave properly to overcome these issues, it is advanced level troubleshooting when the multimeter it is used to just 
check voltage to see the level of the voltage when there is a frequency and wave shape included in the function that time multimeter is not enough that time we need oscilloscope if you are going to troubleshoot a circuit for LCD LED or computer or any processor circuit that time we need oscilloscope if I connect our oscilloscope between two lines I connected between two lines and I will control the voltage and we are taking sine wave I connected transformer this time it is showing me frequency this is digital oscilloscope it is also multimeter built-in function other oscilloscopes have no this function some other oscilloscopes have no measurement function if any oscilloscope have no measurement function what we will do we align the horizontal and vertical axis and we measure we have to align any one of axis okay from here we will align the bottom line this level this bottom line this signal is starting from here we, will, we have to count the scares 1 2 3 4 4.5 4.5 scares in vertical axis so if it is covering 4.5 then the channel setting for channel 1 is 5 volt we have to multiply 4.5 with 5 AC voltage we can see I am getting it is 8.03 volt 8.03 multimeter is giving 8.03 volt that is RNS voltage 4.5 scares here it is covering 1 2 3 4 4.5 4 4.5 scares multiplied by the voltage setting for the channel 1 is 5 volt this calculation for any oscilloscope digital analog and we will take about 22.5 volt okay so here I am taking peak to peak voltage from negative cycle to positive cycle okay in multimeter I am taking 8 volts that is RMS voltage but here I take frequency period mean mean peak to peak voltage minimum maximum ranges we can take, take rise time fall time of cycle due to cycle peak to peak everything we can take from here so channel 1 is giving reading here if I connect the other scope here other other probe here I can take the other reading so in this case we can take this amplitude in this in this way it measures the time period of a cycle what is the cycle cycle if we see as a circle from here it is called zero degree zero degree the signal signal started from zero degree and it is going up to maximum top the topmost area of this signal is called peak positive peak it is positive side from negative line to upper side it is called positive peak okay it is called zero degree it is divided in two three sixty degrees as a full circle from here to here 90 degree positive peak then it start decreasing when it start decreasing and again it comes here from here to here 90 degree and then here 180 degree like a circle 
from here it starts up to 90 degree 90 degree and then it comes to 180 degree the same circle is here from 0 degree it's going up the sine wave it is called sinusoidal wave 0 degree it's going up and then it's coming back to 180 degree and from here to here it is half cycle it is called half cycle and if we see the negative half cycle negative half cycle starts from 0 degree to downwards then this negative cycle starts from bottom line from the zero line to downside and then it will go to 270 degree and then will it reach back to its zero degree it will call 360 degree or zero degree and the last end here upside one degree and the downside it is called 359 degree so the positive cycle is going up then zero degree that's called 180 degree and then coming back down and after that it reaches back again to this, its starting cycle so the same here it started raising up then down at zero degree it is called the positive peak positive peak starts from zero degree and ends at 180 degree and from negative peak from 181 degree to 270 degree it is negative peak then negative peak start rising back to its zero level so when it will reach here it one cycle will be completed from here to here it is called one cycle okay now the level from these two lines the level from here to here how many how many squares covered one two three four four and half four and half squares in vertical axis will determine the voltage level from here to here how many squares it will cover it will determine the time time how much time it take to cover a one cycle suppose we can say it takes one second it have a setting setting is displayed here it is four millisecond two millisecond we can adjust the knob so it will cover the time the time of the cycle will start here and we will multiply these gears with this time suppose this cycle will appear in for example we will adjust in horizontal axis by this position knob horizontal position knob we start this cycle from here okay we will start from this okay slightly more we have to here it is aligned here okay one two three four and five it is covered in five scares again this signal from this vertical line it's starting from here one up till here two three four five five scares five scares multiplied by the time per division these scares are called actual division second per division it is 4 millisecond 4 10 raised to power minus 3 millisecond it is 5 into 4 20 millisecond or 20 10 raised to power minus 3 second it is time period to determine F frequency 1 over T 1 over T so 1 over 20 10 raised to minus 
3 10 raised to power minus 3 and when we will solve it 1 uh, move it to upward 10 raised to power 3 by 20 20 divided 0 0.5 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 multiplied by 1000 it is 50 hertz uh, you can divide it directly multiply by 1000 you can also make like this 2 50 hertz so from here to here the division covered the square covered it is called time period and time period you can convert it by this formula f is equal to 1 over t f is equal to 1 over t so this oscilloscope this device is used to measure the time period and the voltage I am taking voltage from here sine wave now I will collect a diode before diode we are taking sine wave after diode the negative half peak is cut so we are taking the positive half peak so we can see the wave shape through this oscilloscope it is the use of oscilloscope here I am taking full wave full sine wave after diode half wave thanks for watching if this video is good for you you can like subscribe and share and if you want to watch my future videos press bell icon button thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh